Under the pandemic, women are working long, grueling hours under intense pressure. They have called attention to their unmet menstrual health needs, which could impact the pandemic response. Not only do they need access to menstrual hygiene materials, they also need the time, facilities and resources to manage their menstrual health. Wearing an entire PPE kit for 8-hour long shifts while treating patients during the pandemic is already a tough job. The situation is made even more difficult during menstruation. I realized that I had stained my scrubs. It has always been this painful, messy, chaotic affair. And add to that mix PPE. Well, that's a whole new animal. Hey everyone, my name is Maliha and for this project, my partner is Harshida and we study at Delhi Public School, Bangalore North. It all started when we were first approached by a female doctor addressing on the issue of PP and periods. We were educated on the difficulties faced by female doctors in wearing a pad in their PP kits during their long working hours without any breaks. Our mission statement is, how can we help the female frontline workers menstruate comfortably and sustainably as they go through long working hours to battle the COVID-19 pandemic. That's when we started promoting the Menstrual Cup, which is a sustainable period product. This is not only beneficial environmentally, but also economically and personally. So far, we've had webinars for 20 doctors from two hospitals. And in these webinars, we've covered a lot of things from the impact of menstrual waste to the care and use of a menstrual cup to how it all ties in with having to wear a PPE kit. We've also set up a WhatsApp group to create a supportive community where these women can interact with one another and also derive personal guidance and support from us as transitioning into a menstrual cup can be quite of a trial and error process. So we are here to help them every step of the way. We've also created a menstrual cup convert tracker where we can track the usage and progress of menstrual cups in these women's lives so we can document it properly. If it was not for a mentor or the 1M1B foundation that motivated us at our lowest, we would not be have overcome the creative block and found new avenues to create a route map. The pivots in our journey through the 1M1B Future Leaders program were necessary as it made us come out of our comfort zones and achieve success. In the coming weeks, we really wish to scale up our project by having more sessions with doctors from private and government hospitals, work with ASHA workers as and when the situation gets better, extend to more frontline workers including but not limited to BBMP personnel and female police. We here at Project Ritu strongly believe that menstrual hygiene products should be considered an essential part of protective personal equipment. It is our duty to ensure that our female frontline workers are equipped with everything they need to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Together, we can make it happen.